Welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to give you tips for how to look good on a budget. I hope you enjoy the video. Now sit back, grab a snack, and enjoy the show. My number one step in starting is to have tan skin. I don't know, but I think this just makes you look so much better and like, I don't know. So I picked up this uh, self tanning like instant sun mousse from Walmart for just $13. So it's super affordable and they also have it in a light bronze as well as a deep bronze. But I started with uh, just moisturizing. So I put lotion on my skin first and then I'm just using a tanning mitt, which is dirty, I'm sorry. And then using my tanning mousse to put that onto my skin. My second step is to smell good. Honestly, I feel like this just really helps, um, but my favorite perfumes are from Bath & Body Works, especially the In The Stars scent, but you can honestly pick up perfume anywhere. My third step is to have white teeth. I just think this makes you, like your smile just looks so much better when your teeth are white. So I picked up these whitening strips for $30. These are the Vivid Gentle ones because last time I did these, my teeth were a little sensitive to the whitening process, um, but they also have regular ones if your teeth are not sensitive. Jewelry is pretty inexpensive and honestly, I think it can spice up any outfit depending on what you're wearing. And then my fifth step is to just get your nails done. Mine cost about $32 to get these done, but you can also use press-on nails from Ulta. Also, just staying hydrated. I feel like it's so important to just drink water because it helps with your skin, your nails, your hair. It literally just helps every part of your body. So honestly, just drink some water. Next is going to be my skincare routine. So first I found these rose water cleansing towelettes, which are obviously just makeup wipes. Um, so I found these at Walmart actually, and I think they're probably one of my favorite makeup wipes I've ever used. Um, they also have like makeup erasers that are just like towels that you just use water to remove your makeup, which are also great. And then I also use this Hydro Boost hydrating cleansing gel from Neutrogena on my skin. And this also just hydrates my face. And then it also just removes any excess makeup Makeup that the makeup wipe didn't get. Next I use this oil-free acne stress control also from Neutrogena and honestly I just feel like this really helps to even my skin tone which I find really helpful because my skin can get pretty red sometimes and then I also use these charcoal pore strips um, that I found at Walmart and these are super inexpensive but I use these about once a week on obviously my nose. <laughs> So next I use this Bliss That's Incredipeel um, resurfacing pad. It basically just smooths and brightens your skin. And I think this is amazing. I would totally 10 out of 10 recommend these. And then I also use my First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream to moisturize my skin afterwards. Especially since it's winter time, I find that my skin gets really dry. And then every so often I will add these Ulta Beauty self tanning droplets to my moisturizer so that my skin has a healthy looking glow to it as well as a slight um, tan. I'll show you guys my makeup routine so i use this elf poreless putty primer i think this is actually really great stuff and then i also use this bb pure um, cream it's pretty thick it's a little too dark for my skin tone but obviously just buy a lighter one and then i also use this hello fab avocado concealer and on the screen i have pictured where i put concealer and then where i put highlighter um, I also use this Chloe and Malika um, highlighter slash bronzer palette. It also has blushes in it. And then I also use this mascara from Too Faced, which I'm not allowed to say the name of it, but I love that mascara the most. And then lastly, I use a Kat Von D powder um, to finish it all off. And then as far as lipstick goes, sometimes I wear lipstick, sometimes I don't, but Sephora offers a lot of great ones. And then sometimes I'll also use a lip gloss instead.
As for some cute inexpensive outfits, I think a plain shirt with either a button up or a denim jacket over top look great, especially for the winter time. And you could also add a scarf to it. And then also maybe like a bralette with a plain t-shirt over top looks really cute as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. And I'm also probably going to change my uploading schedule to Sundays. So yeah, I will see you guys next Sunday with a new video. Bye guys.